Most people think breaking into cloud engineering requires a computer science degree, years of experience or multiple certifications. But what if I told you that's not true? This video is going to reframe your approach on getting into tech and show you that you actually don't need to follow the traditional path to land a high paying cloud engineering job just like I did. By the end of this video, you'll have a step by step roadmap to transition into cloud engineering. And this isn't just for people already in the industry who are trying to pivot to a different role, it's just people who are starting from scratch. But the most important thing that I actually want to share with you is that you're going to understand the key skills that employers are actually looking for and they need right now and how you can leverage your existing experience and why most people fail at this transition. You don't want to be one of them. But look, right now companies are moving to the cloud faster than ever. But there is a serious problem in the market and that problem is that there aren't enough skilled engineers to build these cloud platforms. Now if you're watching this and you're still hesitating, you're already losing out to someone who's taking action over yourself. There are people out there right now upskilling in AWS, Terraform, Kubernetes, Azure and landing jobs that pay six figures. Meanwhile, you're still wondering, do I need certifications? Is cloud worth it? Is software engineering even going to be around anymore with AI? Let me tell you this, the cloud industry is still in its early days. Even though it's been around for decades, companies are still migrating workloads to the cloud and we have to remember that AI runs on cloud architecture and the people who have moved first have reaped the rewards and people are still going to do that. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Tech Toby. A few years ago, I was an on-prem engineer and I have never touched cloud computing. I spent three to four hours every day learning Azure, Terraform, CI/CD pipeline tools like GitHub Actions. And these are things that I'd never used before on-prem. And I was working for a company that didn't really aspire to automate a lot of their architecture. And in 90 days, I landed my first job as a cloud engineer. After 11 months of that one company, I switched to another company and I started using AWS. And now I'm a senior cloud engineer working for a consultancy and I actually go out to my clients placed as a cloud engineer, an SRE and a DevOps or a platform engineer because working in consultancy offers a wide variety of different roles that you can be put out to. And along the way, I've built a community of over 20,000 people on YouTube, TikTok, my Discord, helped hundreds land jobs, improve their CVs or earn more money. But here's the thing, most people are going to ignore what I'm about to tell you. They'll waste time buying random Udemy courses, watching their life videos and never do actually any work in their own time to improve their situation. If you don't want to be that person, you want to break into cloud engineering, you want to get into tech, then stay with me. Because I'm about to show you exactly how I did it and the one mistake that almost made me fail. So most people think they need a stack of certifications to get a cloud job, right? But I only had one, Azure Fundamentals. What actually landed me the job was my existing experience in infrastructure and the ability to learn cloud skills fast. Now, did the Azure Fundamental Certification help me a huge amount? I don't think so. I mean, he grasped the concepts. And I only took that because I got it for free from an Azure Virtual Training Day. But here's the mistake most people make. They collect certifications without actually learning how to build cloud platforms. They'll just watch the tutorials, the training videos, do some practice tests. They focus on services like EC2, S3, IAM, but they don't actually focus on how companies use them together. And that is why they struggle to get hired. The key is to leverage what you already know. If you have on-prem experience, map it to cloud equivalents. If you're starting from scratch, focus on hands-on learning, build projects. You should be deploying apps and understanding how cloud infrastructure actually works. But even with the right skills, most people still fail to land a job. Why? Because they don't understand how companies hire cloud engineers and that is what we're going to cover next. Most people think companies are looking for AWS or Azure experts, but in reality, they're actually looking for problem solvers who could build reliable and scalable platforms, not people who memorize services. If you apply with just certifications, no real world skills, you're going to be ignored. Now, why is that? Because hiring managers don't actually care about how many courses you've completed. They care if you solve real world problems. Now here's the other secret. Instead of spamming applications, build a cloud project portfolio. Create a GitHub repo showcasing your Terraform modules, CI CD pipelines, and infrastructure as code. Show that you can deploy a scalable app. Go build something really basic, a piece of software, a website, and create a three tier architecture. First, do it manually, then automate with Terraform, then put it into a pipeline so you can deploy updates, secure it. But then it comes the real game changer is specialization. Right now, cloud security, AI and network engineers are in a high demand. If you really want to maximize your career, 
you need to know where the industry is going next. And the cloud industry is evolving. It's not just about AWS versus Azure, it's about specialization. And the reality is a lot of companies you work for may actually use both clouds. Every company I've worked for over the past three years, apart from one, use both. If you only learn the basics, you're gonna get left behind. Cloud engineers who specialize in security, automation, or AI are gonna dominate the job market over the next few years. Now here's what you do after you land your first cloud job. You need to go deep. Learn cloud security if you love protecting systems. Master AI integration if you're into automation. But you shouldn't stop at general cloud skills because specialization is the key to long-term success. You think about how many people are getting hacked? Cloud security is a big game changer there. Now what you have is the exact roadmap that I used to become a cloud engineer in 90 days. Even if you're starting from scratch, there's no excuses. There's no wasted time. There's a clear, actionable path that's trialed and tested and people in my community have done and landed jobs without experience. So if you want to join my community, hop into the links in my description. You can sign up to the newsletter. You can sign up to the Discord. There's many other places that you can follow me to stay up to date. And the best part of all, I don't charge. It's just free. Every day you wait, there are companies hiring people who take extreme accountability, extreme ownership, and they've taken action before you. Don't be the person who gets left behind. Start building, start applying, and let's get you into cloud engineering before it's gonna be too late.